Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Here to do another problem as part of the Harvard Square MTEL Math Workshop series. Today we're going to do number 8 on the General Curriculum Math subtest. Let's read it. Take first moment. Uh, before I even read it, I might actually glance at the problem itself. And when I glance at it really quickly, I notice some, uh, some key details. It's always important to get a quick snapshot of some of the details here. This is important because it's giving us clues on how we should even approach this problem. Um, so here, let me, let me first start with these details right here. In this set, I see these values here. I don't need to work, I don't need to even understand what this means. All I need to see is that, hey, it involves repeating decimals. That 6.66, 6, that 0 0.636363 with the three dots, that means the 63 keeps on repeating. So it involves repeating decimals. And I see in the question, it talks about repeating decimals. And then I even see them use a third time repeating decimals. So guess what? This involves repeating decimals. Um, and if we look at it again, we're gonna, if we are able to boil down this whole thing, we'd see that it's all about how to convert repeating decimals into fractions. Everything else could sort of be washed away. I need to understand how to convert repeating decimals to fractions. So I gotta understand what a repeating decimal is. And I gotta know how to convert it into a fraction. So let's read it. All right. Use the procedure, and you gotta, when you read these things, you gotta read it with, you know, some flair. Um, use the procedure below to answer the question that follows. N equals blah, blah, blah. A hundred times N equals blah, blah, blah. A hundred N minus N equals 99 N, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is a strategy here that will definitely get you to the answer, but, and I think it's a good start strategy to rack your brain over a couple times. And then I think it's a good strategy, you know, where you uh, could cross out. Not to say that um, I don't like the strategy. It's just that I don't like the strategy. And you know what? We're looking for strategies that are going to help us solve it, not confound us. So this is definitely a, a strategy in which you could take a repeating decimal and you could convert it into a fraction. But you know what? I don't even think it's helpful. So let's do another strategy. Another strategy that I think that will help us get to the answer much faster. I don't want to block it off. It's not good to block it off, but let's. This is gonna. We're gonna keep this in the back of the mind, and we're gonna find out another way to do this much faster. Now it says the procedure above shows how to convert repeating decimals to to a fraction. If 0 0.1256 1.256 1 dot 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 is a is a decimal with four repeating digits, which of the following represents the decimal as a fraction? Well. Chris, you said you had a strategy that's better than this. What is it? Well, we're going to do, we're going to take these three examples, these three repeating decimals, and we're going to turn them into fractions in three easy steps. And I think by the end of it, you're going to be able to, um, you're going to be able to solve this very, very quickly. Let's start with this one right here, 0 0.333 repeating. The first step is I want to make sure that I, I have an idea of what that means. 0 0.33 repeating, it's another way of writing 0 0.3 with a line over it. Is that right? Okay, just, just want to make sure. Okay, you take the repeating decimal portion. You identify the portion that's repeating. That's the first step. Put a box over it. Now I, there's one digit in that box so I'm going to divide that digit by the number 9. One, nine. one digit in the box, one 9. I get a fraction of 9, 3 over 9, which is equal to 1 third. You know what? I bet you already knew that 0 0.333 repeating is equal to 1 third. Let's try this another, with another fraction, repeating uh, decimal, pardon me. How about 1, 2, 1, un, 2, 1, 2, dot, 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 dot. Well, if we isolate the portion that's repeating, that's the 12, ask yourself how many digits in that box? Two. So I use two nines. Now here's the time where you want to use your trusty uh, calculator. Where'd my calculator go? All right, let me, let me bring it to uh, 
Let me move over my screen here. Grab my calculator. Move this back. Get my calculator again. Where'd the calculator go? There it is. <laughs> Keep that over here. Oh, no. The old share and blah, blah, blah. Let's move it over here so everyone can see. What's 12 divided by 99? Hey, guess what? It's 0 0.121212. Shift that over here. We just converted this repeating decimal to a fraction, 12 over 99. Well, you might say, well, Chris, you know what? You don't, 256, 1256, you don't, Chris, have a calculator. I know that. But once you learn this strategy, I, I think I want you to have faith that you're not going to need a calculator. So let's take the repeating decimal that they actually give you. You first step, identify the portion that's repeating and put it in a box. Second step. Count the digits in the box. In this case, there are how many digits? Four digits, the one, two, five, six, which means I use four nines. Now, is one, two, five, six divided by 9,999 our fraction? Let's test it. If I type in 1,256 and I divide it by four nines, so 9,999, does that get me this repeating decimal? And guess what? It does. What we're applying here is something called the 9 rule. Um, does the 9 rule exist in any textbook? No, it doesn't. I mean, it does, but it's not called that. So, for this strategy of, repeat, of converting repeating decimals to fractions, I want you to remember this very fancy smancy rule called the 9 rule. If you can remember that, when you have a problem like this, It'll be really easy to very quickly get the answer in, I think, under 15 seconds.